Good morning guys and happy Monday. It is 5 a.m. Um, I'm still on my family medicine rotation, but right now it feels like gen surge uh, with how early I'm waking up. Yeah, it's taking me back to my surgery rotation. But today we're doing um, inpatient medicine at the hospital. So we're gonna be on call from 6 a.m. until midnight, an 18 hour shift. And the reason they do that is because they want us to get at least one admission and be able to write up a note and you know work with at least one patient that we admit. Uh, my classmates that were on inpatient last week, they said they did 6 a.m. to about 9.30 p.m. Um, so I mean, almost the 18 hour shift. Hopefully we get out a little bit earlier today. Um, we actually have two days of inpatient uh, medicine, Monday and Tuesday. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, packed a lot of snacks with me, um, food of course, and um, some study material because I'm sure there will be some downtime at the hospital today. guys it is now Wednesday um, I spent the last two days on inpatient uh, waking up at 4 30 both of those days so I thought I was sleeping this morning and then my body just like naturally woke me up at 7 30 um, and inpatient just uh, means hospital medicine pretty much and I'm standing here because my room has such weird lighting right now but yeah let me tell you guys about how inpatient went so we got to the hospital at uh, 6 a.m. and then the residents assigned each of us uh, each of us a patient. It was me and two of my classmates there as well. So we got the background information on the patient, why they're admitted to the hospital, and then we went and rounded on that patient, gathered some more information, um, did the history and physical, and then you know went back to our resident and just kind of presented to them, get some feedback about our assessment and plan, and then we did group morning rounds at 10 a.m. with um, all the residents and with the attendants. Attending. And so that um, pretty much you present your patient in front of everybody at that point and then get more feedback. By the time rounds were done, it was about maybe 12 p.m. Then it was time for lunch. After that, you're pretty much just checking in on your patient and seeing how they're doing throughout the day. My patient was admitted for um, an acute asthma exasperation. And so um, with that, she's also a diabetic. With the asthma, they're giving her steroids. So steroids can shoot up your uh, your blood sugar levels. So her sugar was like 500 level. So they wanted to take her to the ICU so she can be on an insulin drip and be continually monitored. Monitor the patient didn't want that, so they decided to give her fluids instead and then just do continuous um, glucose checks. And she also has heart failure, so giving her fluids you don't want to fluid overload her, so you need to be checking on her, making sure her lungs um, are clear, don't have crackles. Crackles is a sign of fluid, so it was my job to continuously go back about every hour, check up on her, um, see how her breathing was doing, and pretty much just monitor her. So that's what I did throughout the first day. Second day, Tuesday, we come back, 6 a.m., we round up, pre round on our own patients, and then we round with the whole group and present. Um, and it's really, we did this kind of stuff on uh, surgery as well, gen surge, you know, rounding and all that. And it's really like night and day, uh, you know, the amount of knowledge you gain and the kind of student I am now compared to surgery to this point on family medicine, I'm almost done with third year. And, you know, some of the questions the attending and resident ask you, you know, I'm answering and I'm just like, hmm, you know, I actually know something like, you know, more than you think you do. And you learn so much throughout the year. So, you know, my knowledge and my confidence has definitely grown and I still have one more rotation. That's internal medicine. The last rotation was which is coming up in a couple of weeks and internal is really where you build the foundation of medicine. That's a three month long rotation. And so I still have so much more to learn. But yeah, it's just uh, good to know that I'm, I'm making progress <laughs> through my third year. I'm actually learning something. But yeah, the, these two days of inpatient was pretty much a preview of internal medicine. Internal is going to be a long one, 12-week rotation, and I'm finishing out the year with that. 
So today we're not starting until 10 a.m. All we have today is like a review Q&A session and then we have mid clerkship evaluations and then I'm meeting with my advisor so that she can um, review and approve my fourth year schedule for me. So I'm just going to eat some oatmeal that I made and then I'll check in with you guys later. So I'm back home. Um, I want to work out, but I am not leaving my apartment to walk over to the gym because it is just far too ho uh, too cold. So I'm going to do an at-home workout. I found this YouTube channel and they have pretty good like lower body, upper body workouts. And it's about like 20 to 25 minutes that you can do at home. So those have been perfect for me. And all you need is some weights, resistance band, and some ankle weights. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you do not need a gym to get a good workout in. I did a lower body workout. I'll link her channel in the description box. Um, with this one, you don't need any equipment, but I did use some extra things. But yeah, feeling pretty good. My legs are burning, but I think I'm about to make a smoothie now. Alright, so to my smoothie, I've added a mix of frozen fruit. Got this from Aldi. And then some frozen blueberries, Greek yogurt, chia seeds, almond milk, and then some protein powder. This is a plant-based one and I got this from Target. I feel like protein powders can really kill the taste of your smoothies but this one um, does not have a strong taste to it so it's pretty good. And what I'm missing is bananas and spinach but I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. So I met with my advisor today um, to just go over my schedule and for her to review it and approve it. And so I got my schedule approved. And then after that, we had to like submit it to the registrar's office and then get it officially approved. And so hopefully the schedule that I picked out stands. But yeah, fourth year is the best year because you finally have freedom over your schedule. You can plan out how you want it. You have a lot of free time um, in fourth year. So a lot of people plan vacations either towards the end of the year or in the middle of the year. You can take months off. So yeah, fourth year is a good year. Um, you know, it's still a busy year. You're applying for residency. You're going on a lot of interviews throughout the country. You're doing your away rotations, which can be in different cities. So my school requires that you do seven rotations throughout fourth year. There's 12 months in fourth year, so that means you have a total of five months off to use it however you like. So, you know, you can take a month off uh, to study for STEP. You can take a month off uh, to travel for interviews. Um, you can take a month off for research. So I'm going to do um, two-way rotations, one research month, five, like, clinical electives and then I'm taking a month off to study for uh, step two and so with the way I set my schedule up um, my last rotation for fourth year is gonna end in March and so I'll have March until residency starts in July so yeah done in March graduation in May residency starts in July so I have a lot of time in the spring off and um, I Typically during fourth year, you do uh, you do like the traveling at the end of fourth year because you have all that time off. So I am planning um, a trip at the end of fourth year and I am starting that savings now because I'm going international. So if you guys want to donate to this trip, click the link in the description box and just feel free to donate whatever your heart desires. And a lot of people ask me in the comment section what specialty I'm going into. I think now is typically the time you need to decide you need to decide what you will be applying to because now is the time where you have to um submit applications for your away rotation. So if you don't know by now, it kinda like puts the pressure on you to make a final decision. So I am back to making my weekly schedules. This is what my planner is looking like. So today 10 questions, read the cardio section, and then um, look up some screening guidelines because there are so many guidelines in family medicine. Good morning, guys. So today we have geriatric medicine, so we'll be at the nursing home. Um, I was at the nursing home with my previous preceptor, and geriatrics really isn't my favorite thing. Um, but then after that, we head over to afternoon clinic. 
So yeah, afternoon clinic after lunch uh, for a few hours and then we have class in the afternoon around 4.30. So pretty busy day today. So I had to stop by um, the leasing office, the computer labs to print out some forms because there's a lot of different forms that we have to take to um, the nursing home this morning. All right, just got to the nursing home and the forms that I printed out are pretty much like different assessments that we have to do over here, like um, cognitive assessments, um, depression screenings, things of that nature. I didn't realize how tired I look, but um, I'm now back home. The geriatric experience went well. I worked with um, one patient that had cognitive impairment. In the afternoon, we went to clinic, saw a few patients, and then I had to head to campus for class, and I'm just not getting home. And some classes later in the evening, they always give us food, so I just took some to go. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, end the vlog now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.